Hi everyone, and welcome to my first video of 2024. How many times have you found yourself in a situation where you were asked to play mallet percussion and you're like, oh, I don't own a marimba or a xylophone or a vibraphone or, or bells or anything of the sort. What can you do to replace those acoustic instruments? Um, well, you can turn to the digital side of the world and there's a multitude of different ways to replicate those sounds in different digital instruments. Now, if you're one of the lucky few who own a mallet cat or um, the Pearl mallet workstation, then you're golden because you can load in as many different sounds, whether they're on board or through elsewhere, um, and have it sound like you're playing the real instrument. And they look and kind of feel in a digital sense, um, like you're playing the real acoustic instrument. However, today I don't even own any of those, but what I do own is the Roland HPD-20 Hansonic. And my goal is to replicate playing marimba on this pad. For those of you who are not familiar with the HPD-20, this is such an incredible versatile tool because not only is it good for percussionists, but drummers can use it as well, composers, producers, DJs. This is a great, great digital percussion uh, workstation where you can incorporate it into different styles of music and use it for different ideas. Now, I primarily use the HPD-20 pad when I tour and I'm not able to bring my full percussion setup. So what we're gonna do is kind of delve into the pad itself and take a look at the music. Thankfully, this pad or this unit has 13 individual pads plus a D-beam at the top. There are four large sections of this pad with a center area and then above the top, you have four individual pads on each side. So four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 individual pads where you can assign notes. And that can be just on one kit itself. So I am a member of a local church handbell organization. Sunday, I'm looking to perform this piece called Recuerdos, which is memories. There are uh, two separate parts in addition to the handbells. Uh, marimba and acoustic guitar. So what's important is to break down the music to the most basic level um, as far as programming the individual note. And that's what we're going to delve into today. So what's important with any piece of music is to understand what is going on. And in this example, we have a lot of different notes for the marimba here. So what I ended up doing was going through the piece and creating kind of a, uh, an individual note key uh, scale or system just to break down what notes are required in this piece. And look at how many there are. Uh, so it goes from the low end of the bass clef all the way up uh, just above the staff and the treble clef. That might be a little bit of an issue because if you recall, there's only 13 pads per individual kit. So that means we're probably going to have to span across two different kits. And I'm not even sure if that's feasible musically. Um, and still that only gives us 26 notes. So we might have to cut and edit and rearrange this to make it work. I just took the most frequent appeared notes in this piece, counted out 13 starting from the, the lowest, and I created a new pitch set starting at low F, G, A flat, B flat, C, E flat, E natural, F, G, A flat, A natural, B flat, C. That gives me 13 individual pads to assign and I should be able to cover the whole piece. You know, I might not be able to get all the harmonies and everything, but I will be able to cover this whole piece 
on just the pad alone on one kit without having to change anything. Okay, so the first step, what I'm gonna do is obviously power on my unit and then find an empty bank. Uh, most of my banks in this unit are full, so I'm actually gonna delete an old song out of here. Uh, and I have patch 107 is an open kit. So what I'm gonna do is select menu. And then it brings up your menu uh, items here. And we wanna select instrument, which is the, the default highlighted uh, spot and press enter. So that's going to bring you to your instrument list. And what you're gonna do is just scroll through using this rotating knob in the upper right hand corner. If you use the up and down arrows, you can select by instrument category. And then within the category, if you press the down arrow, you can select the individual instrument. The marimba is in the melodic section so you have everything from Latin percussion, African, Asian, orchestral, melodic, other, electro, kick drums, snare drums, you name it. It's got everything in here. Uh, but we're gonna go to melodic um, and that starts at instrument number 349. Then we're gonna scroll down or press the down arrow and then just keep turning the knob until we find the marimba. So I like to think of it as low to high. It just makes sense. Instead of just randomly assigning notes everywhere on the pad, it could get a little confusing. It can be difficult to remember where everything is assigned. So I actually create a little cheat sheet and I draw a diagram of the pad face itself and I just write in the note names. So. At least this way you know if you build your way up, it goes from low to high. That's just how I personally like it. So that's how I'm gonna program this pad. Um, so let's start with this, this pad right here. And what you wanna do is press the middle button of these three silver buttons. And that's gonna bring up a sub menu with volume, tuning, sweep, muffling, color, all those good options. Um, so we know that the default note is D3, but we need an F. So we need to go up, let's see, D to E is one whole step and E to F is another half step. So here's where a little math comes into play. If you go back to edit and you look at the tuning, that D note is minus 100. So for every whole step, whole step, you need to increase or decrease 200. A half step is 100. Okay, so bear with me. So if we're at D and we need to move up to F. So we're gonna add 200 to bring it to the note E. So that's up 100. That's up 200, so now we're at E. We need to go up one half step from E to F. So a half step is just 100. And these are in cents. So we're gonna bring it to plus 200. So this pad is now programmed to the note F. Here, we're going to do G. So what is the relationship of G to F? This is one whole step above this note. So if we're at plus 200 here, we need to go up a whole step. This should be plus 400. And the dial moves in increments of 10, 10 cents. So keep turning, keep turning until we get to plus 400. So now this pad, there we go. And when you touch the pad, you can see in the diagram here in the LCD screen, 
which pad you're programming and which pad you want to adjust. Okay, so now we're in the lower right pad. Ah, it still programs despite whatever the instrument is. Plus 400. So now we have the notes F and G. Well, there is the process of how I can turn my HPD-20, a hand sonic, into a acoustic marimba. Does it work? I would say yes. It sounds pretty good. The sounds are very natural. And really the performance would boil down to practice in making sure those hand-to-hand -hand finger roll transitions are good. And to an indiscernible ear nobody but would probably even know so it it sounds really good it works and if you're in a pinch and you don't own any of those other mallet instruments such as a mallet cat or the pearl workstation the roland hpd 20 can and does work as a marimba